to do a review. Hi guys, today I'm here to do a review on an item that has been out for a while. I think it came out like two years ago if I'm not mistaken. And it's the Infinity Pro by Conair. This is how the box looks. And it's a uh, curling iron, but it's different. It's like, it sucks your hair in and then it curls it for you. And it has three different kinds. It has the tighter curls, the medium curls, and the loose curls. I usually go for the tighter one. These are the steps, basically. This will be my fifth time using it. And so far, like how I do it is I already comb my hair out. I make sure there's no tangles in it because I don't want my hair to get stuck in this thingy. This is how it looks like. You know, this is the front. This is the side buttons on the top it's basically you choose what what kind of curls you want for the 12 second is the looser kind of the curls uh, the 10 second is the medium curls and the 8 second is the um, tight curls and then they have high low or off once you plug it into your wall it's gonna be blinking right now it's just solid red which means it's already ready to um, use and this is how the clamp looks so basically you comb your hair out you stick between one inch to one inch and a half strand of hair in between the clamps right there and it just sucks it all in right there this is hot right there and that's what does that part right here is what does your curl you, you have to suck it in I don't know if you can hear that but it beats and it lets you know when it's ready to release so so far I'm gonna start with the cons it's heavy this part right here is real heavy and this is where your hair goes and all that the handle it like after a while I, I have a lot of hair my hair is real thick and real heavy so it's not like I could use a lot of parts to do it, a lot of parts to do it. I have to go by sections and it's small sections because you don't want the one to suck up your hair. Another con is that when your hair does get stuck, of course it's gonna pull some of your hair. So if you have thin hair or like if you're losing hair, I do not recommend this because it does get stuck to this. Some pros is that it does curl your hair fast. Another pro is that if you're not good with curling your hair, like I, I'm not, I'm not good at curling my hair at all. Like I suck. Um, it is a good, a good um tool for you to have. It says yeah, belly at Best Buy. I didn't even know Best Buy sold beauty tools for eighty four ninety nine. So it's between eighty to a um, hundred dollars. It is pricey, but I feel like it's worth your money in some sort because it does the job. It's not like it doesn't do a good job. It does the job, but it is pricey. So this is what I did. I just made a part, uh, like a bottom layer of my hair. And all I'm going to do is start taking from my left side. So it beat four times and then it's letting me know to let it go. And this is what I got for once you set it to 12 seconds on high. This is the kind of curl you get. It's like the tight curl. 
still not bad and it's really fast for me to do my whole head full of hair it takes me like 30 minutes the most if it sucks it up and your your part is too thick it's gonna suck your hair up and it's gonna get stuck in after a while it's gonna rip. I'm gonna do the rest of my head <clears throat> and um I'll show you guys Okay, so I'm done with the middle part. Well, halfway of my hair. Um, and these, this is how the curls look so far. I love how they're coming out. Okay, so so far, since I already finished half of my hair, I only have a couple of my hair left. As you can see, my hair is bouncy. It does have volume. Um, the spray helps a lot. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to finish the rest of my hair and I'll show you the end. 